Healthcare and retirement, how much will you spend? A great article from Vanguard here, which we're going to dive into. And again, someone emailed me this uh, as well. Uh, lots of good emails that I get on articles. Uh, some I read, some I just don't have time. Some are, are just, I, I just laugh, not because a guy sent it to me, but just I laugh because um, I'll get it multiple times or just speak, careful, buddy, or they're just, the article is so over the top, which is why I think some of these guys sent them to me actually, which is cool. Uh, I like getting the articles because uh, I don't read um, as, you know, I mean, if you have a bunch of people reading, that just gives me more to read. I simply don't have the time to read all the articles, that's for sure. So much obliged. All right, so here's a good study from Vanguard. I'm looking for my little nugget. Planning for retirement health care is probably easier than you should expect, says Vanguard. Yeah, that's fantastic. Start by considering your personal information, your personal situation. How much is health care going to cost? Maybe not as much as you think. Today's retirees, ooh, let me get my phone on the charger because I'm getting ready to go down to the whiteboard here in just a second. And I want to do a video with a fully charged phone. Uh, today's almost retirees are confident about what the future holds, but there's one thing that worries them, and that's the cost of health care. Yeah, 100%. And no wonder. There are a lot of big, scary numbers being thrown out there. Fidelity? Fidelity? Fidelity! But let's be honest. If you add up your spending for, wait a second, is Vanguard stating is, wait, what is the date of this? Is Vanguard actually stating this? I'm, I'm stunned. I, I am stunned. Uh, <laughs> if you add up your spending for anything over the course of thirty years. Food, gas, vacations is going to seem like a lot. I don't see a date on here. I am stunned that Vanguard is actually stating that. That is fantastic because my whole thought process has been, if you're taking your trusty calculator, link in the show notes, and you times that by 30 with an inflation of whatever you want to call it, you're going to spend a lot of money on anything. The issue with healthcare is that it's such a low amount to begin with that it grows more because of healthcare inflation than other expenditures. But because it's starting way down here and other things are starting way up here, while the growth is higher for healthcare, the other things still easily outpace uh, in real dollars, which is all that matters, healthcare. Um, that's, that's incredible. I'm stunned that Vanguard is stating this. Healthcare is important to plan for, though. If you're like most people, an employer has been subsidizing your health care costs all your life. So your costs may go up once you retire. But never fear! Most years, your health care costs will be a relatively stable piece of your retirement spending pie, making them easy to plan for. I, I'm, I'm, I cannot tell you how stunned I am to be reading this. This is part and parcel of my... They're going to take away my ability to even have to do YouTube channels anymore because this is 100% right on. Uh, you may have heard that the true cost of healthcare is rising faster than the overall inflation rate. Good boy, Pablo. And that's true for a variety of reasons. Better technology and newer treatments hit the market every day. And that's a good thing. Uh, I'm just, man, I, I'm going to share with you this article I'm reading on uh, Alzheimer's. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's insane. It's insane how the, uh, the, the dogma, the orthodoxy has disallowed other research other than one aspect to actually get any kind of uh, wind in their sails. It's insane. It's almost like client science. Science is almost like health nutrition science. It's almost like plate tectonics. It's almost like Ignaz Semmelweis was saying, docs, wash your hands before you deliver babies. It's, I'm telling you, man, it's insane. It's almost like the challenge to the SEC uh, it's the greatest conference in the history of mankind, so we don't even need a college football playoff. I say that because I know there's a lot of people in the South who love SEC football, and I love you. I just think there should be an 18 playoff, if not a 16 team. But anyway, our research shows that you can expect health care spending to double over the first 20 years of retirement. This increase takes into account that most people simply spend more in health care the older than they get. On the other hand, other expenses like entertainment and travel tend to drop over time. In fact, most people spend less overall the further they get into retirement. I, holy crap. I'm literally agreeing with everything they're saying here. What affects health care costs for retirees? Here are the six biggest factors according to our research. Your health status. Three questions to consider. Are you a smoker? Do you visit the doctor often? At least 10 times a year. Good night. 
Do you have two or more chronic health conditions? If you answer yes to at least one of those three questions, you should plan to spend a larger portion of your retirement income on health care. Do you visit the doctor at least 10 times a year? Oh, man, that obviously that's a chronic condition, but man, that's... Whew. However, if you don't have any chronic health conditions and no family history, you've never smoked, uh, and you don't go to the doctor often, you probably spend less on average. Your location. Yeah, man, I, I cannot stress this enough. There's a big difference in price tags between the most expensive locations and the cheapest. Traditional Medicare cover, coverage is the same everywhere, but prescription coverage, Part D, and Part C, Medicare Advantage, uh, Medicare, Medigap supplemental plans, and private insurance vary sometimes even within the same state or even the same county or even the same zip code. For example, premiums for one supplemental plan cost twice as much per year in the highest cost area than they do in the lowest cost area in 2018. Well, that's just because New York uh, is a guaranteed issue for, for Medigap plans where you don't get that in most other states, for instance, which means it more expensive. Uh, the age you retire. Retiring before 65 sounds great, but it means you have to come up with your other coverage until you're eligible for Medicare. 100% agree. Uh, some options stay on a spouse's plans. Charlotte took a full-time job at a CPA firm, so I could we could all have health coverage for sure. Uh, stay on your former employer's plan using COBRA if you retire within 18 months before you become eligible for Medicare. Yep, we did that when I left USA initially. Uh, if you're lucky, your employer may offer you continuing coverage as part of your retirement package. Talk to a lot of people who get that. It's awesome. Buy insurance on the open market or through a professional association. All states now have professional have exchanges where you can buy coverage from private insurers and insurers, and many associations offer group insurance coverage. This is likely your most expensive option, yeah, unless you qualify for tax credits. So, uh, how premiums vary? What you're used to: thirteen hundred dollars on a employer plan, open market plan is eight thousand uh, bucks. Medicare is uh, about three times that what it was on the employer plan. I don't know. That seems. I don't know, man. Um, the, the plans you choose. Yeah. So we, all right. So that's, yeah, that seems a little bit high. Let me, there we go. Let's go this. Your income. If you saved, except, uh, these are Irma rules. I wonder if there's something else here though, too. Hold on right here. Here we go. Sample, uh, yearly costs for people who don't have additional premiums due to high income. Yep. Right here. I, this is pretty good. Uh, for, so once you've taken all six factors in account, how does it shake out? Our, our Okay, they talk about how they, you can talk to Vanguard. Um, I don't know about that. But anyway, uh, sample right here. So if you have low health risks, you're going to have 3300 for just A and B. And again, A is free. B is your $1,335 uh, a month plus, plus uh, your $35 a month for, uh, for Part D. And this is for a chart for 65. That seems high to me. Um, I guess they're saying, though, you could have some in terms of co-pays. So, eh, I, I get that. That actually seems about right. So, 30, that's pretty good now I think about it. So, I use about 4000 to 5000 uh, per person. So, yeah, 3300 um, Divide that by 12. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, I actually use a little bit higher than that when I run my plan. So, that's for a 65-year-old woman. She's going to spend about 3300 a year if she has low health risk. A moderate health risk, about uh, 3900 a year. Add a supplemental policy. Yeah, there it goes. Right on. I, I was saying that right there. About five, four to 5000 bucks. That's what Vanguard is using. About 4700 bucks a year. Right on with a supplemental policy plan. Uh, you could actually get one if you have a Medicare Advantage for you know even cheaper than that. But there are limits to that. So just make sure you understand that. If you're a high health risk, you're going to spend between seven and eight thousand bucks. So I, we can just use moderate. So between four and five thousand bucks, just like I said. So kudos to Vanguard. Um, if you have pay maximum additional premium charges due to high income, that's uh, if you have Irma. All right. So yeah, I'm not a big. Uh, I don't think the vast majority of us are going to be considering that. But if you have low health risk, you're going to see yeah, basically a triple doubling right here. High health risk, you'll see yeah, not quite a doubling. So. That's just because of high health costs, because the premium increases because of your high income. That's going to get worse as we go forward, too. Uh, don't forget a lot about long-term care. Just did a video on long-term care. Uh, so that's pretty good. Let me uh, hold on just a second. I want to see. There's another thing I want to look at. Hold on just a sec. Here's the white paper from Vanguard, Planning for Health Care Costs or Retirement, where they use uh, they get a little bit more detailed. And they're, they're citing an article from this EBRI, which, which I like. Um, the Employee Benefits uh, Research Institute, 
the numbers are alarming. As presented by leading uh, experts, the numbers are alarming. A site from the, uh, the, the Boston College study, uh, $265,000 you'll have to spend on health care. So this is definitely written by a different group of people than the other uh, report I was just showing you. Because uh, this one is uh, a lot more fearsome and frightening. They're saying, look, oh my goodness. Has modeled the BC, the Boston College Center for Retirement Research has modeled that amount individuals need to have saved to cover premiums and out of pocket expenses uh, for a typical 65 year old will be 197000 But if we go back to Vanguard, where they say um, right here, but let's be honest, when you add up the spending for anything over the cost of 30 years, it's going to seem like a lot. I, so two different people had written this. When was this? This is Dateline, June 2018. So it's different to me why they're. I don't know what they're, it's just a different way they're looking at it, which is odd. Um, anyway, so if we go down to here, um, we're going to show you, uh, again, you can, I'll put both links to both these uh, articles. Median annual healthcare costs vary by individual risk category. So this is the median. And again, we're looking at three to 4,000 uh, for just what, Van, just what the study just showed you right there in terms of what we're just talking about. Three to 4,000 low risk, four to 5,000 high risk. Uh, seven, eight thousand uh, median risk is four to five thousand medium risk and high risk seven to eight thousand uh, dollars. But here we show you uh, the different cover uh, supplemental plan F and supplemental plan N. These are meta gap policies. Meta gap means that you see anybody who accepts Medicare, they have to accept your meta gap plan. Medicare Advantage is an in network or a PPO to some degree where they don't have to see you. I mean, I guess they could, but if you're out of network, you're going to you know, foot a lot of that bill. Medigap, you pay more because you'll see any doc, if you're in Kansas, if you're in Alaska, if you're in Boston, any doc who accepts Medicare has to take you. So it's more expensive, but it has a, there's, everybody's a network essentially. And so what they're showing you here is if you're a medium, medium risk, with a traditional Medicare, you're paying 3,800 like we talked about. If you add uh, Plan F, you're paying 5,200. If you plan add Plan N, you're paying uh, 4,800. I think Plan is it Plan F that they just got rid of? I think so. So Plan N is a G and N. I, I'll tell you, I just can't remember off the top of my head. So just do some research. It's G and N now because I don't think they offer Plan F, but uh, don't quote me on that. I think it's G and N. I just off the top. I think you want the G, but do your own research. Well, I like that. So they're basically saying uh, 4000 5000 bucks, depending on your risk, if you're medium risk, and if you're higher risk, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, they talk about worst case scenario, 20000 without a supplemental plan. If you have plan F, it's 11000 You have plan N, is 13000 And so, you know, that's your, that's the, you know, 90% not likely to happen. So that's not too expensive. Uh, presence or lack of subsidies for pre-Medicare retirees can significantly affect costs. Yeah. So Medicare, they're saying at 65, you pay about 5,200. Um, if you're a medium risk, if you're a brawn plate, uh, brawn marketplace, you'll pay about 13,700 to include out-of-pocket expenses, including dental and vision. That's if you need out-of-pocket expenses. If you're silver, you pay about uh, 12,800 and whatnot. Uh, employer sponsored plan, you're paying about 5,500. So I, I just, a pretty good article actually. I'm, I'm, I like that. I just, again, I don't like the fear mongering of the, oh my goodness, you're gonna need $5 million. Uh, uh, geography can affect a lot. And here they got the highest states and you'll see New York is amongst the highest right there. Uh, that's gonna be New York City right there. That's Connecticut. Uh, which is weird because that has a insurance companies are all in Connecticut. You think they'd give uh, cheaper benefits to that Washington. And these are all, I mean, these are all going to be the places I'm not sure what's going on down here, but essentially these can be all the places where you have guaranteed issue for meta gap policies and whatnot. So that's why it's going to be uh, most expensive because they're saying annual premium for least expensive supplemental plan F uh, here, here um, is that, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, is that Iowa? Uh, Minnesota, right? Uh, or is that Wisconsin? Yeah, that's Minnesota. Was that Wisconsin? I can't remember. That's Michigan right here. That's Wisconsin. That's Minnesota. Uh, you know, I, I don't remember. I just remember some of these states, the north uh, and northwest and the, and the upper Midwest, uh, have guaranteed issue of meta gap policies, which means there's no underwriting, which are going to be more expensive. Uh, so lots of good stuff here. I'm a fan. It's just, again, at the end of the day, let's just go back to what Vanguard said. 
it's not as much, uh, it's probably easier than you should expect and maybe not as much as you think when it costs a healthcare in retirement. I'll put links to the show notes. Love to hear your comments on that. Thanks now.